Guess who we just saw? We just saw Elvis Presley and the Beatles. Pretty crazy actually, we didn't expect to see that when we got off the bus. Who would have thought that Michael Jackson has such small feet? They're about the same size as mine. We have found our star on the Walk of Fame. I seriously never in my life thought that I would travel anywhere in the US so this is quite a big thing for me I have to say. Hi guys and welcome to Los Angeles, California. I'm Alex and this is my wife Marlin and today we are going to show you some of the highlights of Hollywood but first we're making a quick stop here at Los Angeles Farmers Market. In 1934, a dozen farmers came together with their trucks and they sold their fresh produce on the corner of Third and Fairfax, which is where we are now. And just a few months later, there were restaurants, groceries, service providers. They moved in their permanent stalls here. And since then, it's just become this kind of famous world landmark. Lots of famous people have been here, including the Beatles. Pretty interesting walking through here. They have a big food hall. There's lots of produce being sold. We got meats, cheeses, vegetables. Everything's going on. All sorts of types of food as well. Lots of Mexican burgers, health food. Really interesting place. So there was a quick stop at the farmers market. There weren't actually many stalls selling fresh produce, maybe two or three of them, which was a little bit disappointing for me. However, there was an amazing food hall with lots of people eating and if we were on a better budget we would definitely have some grub there. Before we move on to Hollywood I just want to point out that behind here in the farmers market area there is actually quite a nice shopping center with lots of famous brands like Topshop and Zara so it's a pretty good place to come if you're into that. Time to catch a bus and head to Hollywood. 35 cents off peak. Please watch your step. We just basically got off the bus and we were going to head to the Chinese theatre but we just happened to stumble upon the Walk of Fame. Guess who we just saw? We just saw Elvis Presley and the Beatles. Pretty crazy actually, we didn't expect to see that when we got off the bus. So now we're going to walk up the Walk of Fame and then head over to the Chinese theatre and tell you more about that. Remember when we went to Hollywood We did stuff that we never thought we would Backstage parties, drinks and limousines, yeah Guys, we have just arrived to one of the absolute hot spots here in Hollywood, which is the Chinese theatre right here behind me. Now, apparently, this theatre is home to one of the world's largest IMAX screens, but that's not why we're here. We're not going to watch a movie or film like we say in British English. Instead, we're going to head over there and we're going to check out some of the hands and footprints of famous Hollywood celebrities. Alright guys, here we are and right next to me are all those famous handsome footprints. Let's see if we can find any interesting ones. I'm standing in Tom Hanks' shoes. He's got big feet, by the way. Right next to us, we have Arnold Schwarzenegger, we've got Adam Sandler, Samuel L. Jackson there. He's got big feet, I tell you. Well, incredible. Who would have thought that Michael Jackson has such small feet? They're about the same size as mine. Guys, we have found our star on the Walk of Fame. This is where it's going to say, Time Zone Jackets. As you can imagine, there is lots to see here in Hollywood, but it's also very touristy. Now we're going to head over to a place which I think is not as touristy, which is the Hollywood High School. And apparently there are some really nice mural paintings over there. We might be completely wrong but Marlene thinks that she read that lots of famous people actually went to this school, Hollywood High School. Alex, so what is your first impression of Hollywood? 
It's very glitzy, glamorous, lots of uh, tourists around like ourselves. Uh, yeah, but it's, it's quite an interesting place. You know, you've got all these famous landmarks, you've got the Walk of Fame, which is pretty interesting to see the footprints and the stars all over the place. I don't know, yeah, it's pretty cool. Is that what you expected it to be? Yeah, I suppose it is really. You know, I used to play Grand Theft Auto, and in Grand Theft Auto 5 or 4, I don't remember, they have actually Hollywood Boulevard and like Walk of Fame and everything in it, and it kind of looks like that, if I'm honest. It's really cool though. I don't know if I'd come back, it's a once in a lifetime, and that's it, I think. Guys, it's time to leave this part of Hollywood and the Walk of Fame. We're going to catch the metro and we're going to head to a place called the Griffith Observatory because apparently you can get a really good viewpoint of the whole city from up there. So we're catching the metro, so come with us. Public transport is pretty affordable here in LA. You get one of these cards and it costs 175 per trip with a transfer included. So pretty good price. Okay. Guys, we've got three stops on the subway, but we're not there yet. We actually have to catch a bus as well to get to the Griffith Observatory. We've made it up to the Griffith Observatory and one of the main reasons people come up here is actually to check out the amazing views of the city. There is also a pretty good view of the Hollywood sign from up here so we're pretty excited to show you that. Inside the observatory there's a planetarium and that's where we're going to be heading now. So we're in the planetarium now and we walked into an area called Hall of the Sky and here you can find things like this. In this particular place you can see sun and star parts. Over on the other side here you've got eclipses, tides, moon phases. So it's pretty interesting if you want to learn about our planet, the universe, etc. There are so many things here, like I've never seen anything like it. So the thing down here actually shows you the different spectrums of the sun. So when I turn this around, it changes color. So those are all of the different colors of the sun. Inside this room we have something called a camera obscura, which takes an image from outside and with a light it goes through a hole and down her projector and creates this image on a piece of paper or something. Artists use them or used to use them to kind of get an outline of what they wanted to draw. It looks really interesting. We just watched the Tesla coil demonstration, it's really, really impressive, quite noisy as well, the guy gave lots of nice information about it. I'm a bit of a fan of Tesla and his work. Anyway, so much to see in this planetarium, in the observatory, you guys should definitely come and check it out for here. We got to the end of this vlog and it's time to show you the views and behind me is a very famous Hollywood sign. I seriously never in my life thought that I would travel anywhere in the US so this is quite a big thing for me I have to say. We were really excited about coming up here to get a good view of the city but this time of year it tends to be pretty hazy, the fog comes in from the sea and to be honest we can't see too much but what we can see is still pretty impressive. Now we're talking, now we're actually getting a view of the skyline.
guys it's that time again we're gonna end the video and you're gonna give us a like if you enjoyed it you're gonna subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and please don't forget about the notification bell button next to the subscription button so that you don't miss any of our uploads what else also drop us a comment did we see all the places you need to see in Hollywood or did we miss out on loads of stuff we only had two days here so to be honest we didn't have too much time to wander around and check everything out yeah I'm sure that we missed out on plenty of things in Santa Monica, Venice Beach and here in Hollywood the three places that we visited now in the next vlog we will actually be in another state we will be in Phoenix Arizona and our friends Rachel and Alex are gonna take us to Grand Canyon so don't miss that now say it again subscribe to our channel if you're new here if you want to support us and keep us on the road we have a patreon page we will leave a link at the end of this video and down in the description so please check that out and you can donate a few dollars every month it really helps thank you so much for watching guys and we will see you in the next one bye, bye. and a special thanks to all of our patrons for keeping us motivated and helping us stay on the road And just a few more. Uh, try again. We're not vlogging today. Guys, we have just arrived to one of the absolute top hotspots here in Hollywood. <laughs> and you also get an amazing view of the Hollywood sound. I can't say it. I knew it. We've got to the end of this video, Alex. We're, no, Alex. <laughs> you have too much air above your head. Much air above you. I can't hold it still. There, down a bit. Well, I'm at the same point where I was before. But lean it that way.